Uh, you ever just done something cringy for love? I was a kind of a hopeless romantic Aww. when I was a kid. Go on. But looking back, man, uh, her favorite. <laughs> this is embarrassing, dude. All right. God. I, uh, her favorite movie, she worked at Blockbuster Video in West Frankfurt. Right on Main Street, which man. Was a huge, and, like, when you date a girl from Blockbuster in the 90s, like, yes. oh, man. Let me tell you Jack something. Pop. There was some perks, dog. Yeah, yeah. Uh, How tan and, were which, you at the time, by the way? Because, like, the tanning bed's in the back. They had tanning <laughs> beds? At the Blockbuster? Absolutely. I forgot at about that. At the Blockbuster? Yeah. Whoa, so you wow, get a tan, a tan. and... I was probably, yeah, I probably had, like, frosted tips, puka shell necklace. Who knows what was going on? It was the 90s. So you get a tan and... Rent a movie? Hell yeah, man. That's great. Whoa. Everybody's looking like Matthew McConaughey yeah. walking out of there. Yeah, try that on Netflix. You know what I'm saying? So so you're dating a girl you know, who worked at Blockbuster, so would oh. she put stuff aside for you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So be, hot. She'd be like, so hot. Oh, yeah. We watched all the all the hits. I didn't have to get in there early. Mm. I didn't rewind nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you mean <laughs> you by know that. Hey. <laughs> so, uh, you know what saw she Jerry a, Maguire? So she had a guy she dated, total free. Your your stereotypical bad high school boyfriend cheated on her all the time. Dad hated her mom. My dad hated him, mom hated him. He dry, he drove a step side forward this with a vanity license plate that said Nate Dogs with a Z. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Sweet. I he think was, I dated this guy, too. He, no. he was like your quintessential <laughs> crappy movie bad boyfriend. Okay. But she couldn't get away from him, and we dated kind of in between. I was her in-betweener guy. So almost like your central casting yeah. 80s bad Dude. high school boyfriend. All right, I'm, I'm picturing Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just terrible guy. And she was kind of, we were kind of like, I was trying to like win her over, but she kind of kept going back to him. And then I was her favorite movie at the time was a movie called Message in a Bottle with Kevin Costner and Robin Wright. Okay, and, uh, I know uh, the movie. It's very, it won an awards. It won a Razzie <laughs> for worst <laughs> performance for Kevin Costner. Uh, very great. But like uh, one night, I was like, man, I got to do something. I was a very kind of romantic, but kind of dumb guy, you know. And everything in the nineties is like you got to do this grand gesture mm -hmm. to win a girl's affection. That's so embarrassing. Dude. So, so <laughs> I, I want to know. Everybody wants to do right. the say anything John Cusack yeah. outside yes. the window. Yes. Yes. Boombox. Yes. Still hot boombox. to this day. In your eyes from Peter Gabriel. Yep. Yes. This was my John Cusack moment. I was like, I had my aunt go buy a bottle of Boone's Farm Strawberry Hill. Yeah, the good and, stuff. And she dumped it out. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> took the label off. And then I wrote her like a love letter on a piece of parchment paper. And then... <laughs> This is so cute. I burned oh the God. edges so it looked like a pirate's map. I don't Whoa. know what I was. Because in the movie, Message in a Bottle, a message washes up in a bottle on shore. And it's a, Kevin Costner's writing love letters to his dead wife. She loved this movie. Thought it was super romantic. And I'm like, this is the move. Mm -hmm. I show up at her house with my message in a bottle. At 10 o'clock at night, uninvited, creepy. You know, in hindsight, not the coolest sure. thing I ever did. Uh, like you didn't get shot. Knock on the door. Well, her dad answered. <laughs> and uh, I got and I looked around the back of the house and Nate Dogs with a Z. No, his truck's parked in the back. So she's in there with this other guy. I didn't know it at the time. Oh no! And her dad's like, "What the hell is that?" <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "Oh, is uh, is Dave a home?" <laughs> and he's like, "I mean, yeah, she's home." And I'm like, "Could you get her for me?" Oh. And he's like, "She closes the door and I can kind of hear the fracas, the talk." And you knew Nate Dogs was there. I knew he was there, uh, but that guy was all in at this point. He's the got door a booze been... farm bottle with a message. I mean, you yeah. could have. Abort, abort, <laughs> abort. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot well, of effort. And I'll give you the short version for uh, the, the listeners, but he comes, like, I hear them talking inside, and I can hear, like, burr, 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 like the Charlie Brown. I mm -hmm. can't hear what's being said, but I can hear the tone. And uh, so I hear footsteps, lighter footsteps coming to the door, and I'm like, yeah, okay, here she comes, here she comes. You're going to have this big Hollywood moment. You're going to have this big 90s movie moment. This yes, is your John is Cusack it. moment. And then the door opened, and I turned around, and it was her dad again. And he goes, it ain't looking good, bud. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, uh, and he goes, I go, well, could you give her this for me? And he goes, oh. and, he, oh. and, and he goes, he pushed it back towards me, and he goes, no. No. M meet me outside in the driveway. And I was like, oh, man, her dad's about to rip me a new one. Mm. And he came outside, and he popped the tailgate of his truck down, gave me a Coors Light underage, had two cigars in his pocket, <laughs> lit a cigar, no. and then gave me the best pep talk I've ever had in my life. Dang. You know how pathetic that you have to be <laughs> <laughs> when it's not your dad. 
<laughs> it's it's the girl's dad giving me a pep talk, and he's like, "Listen, kid." While his daughter is inside, inside banging, banging Nate, Nate dogs. Dog with a Z, dude. <laughs> you know, how pathetic. And then he's like, uh, he gave me a Coors Light and a cigar, and he goes, "Look, man," gave me some good advice. He was like. Very safe. I'd had my Hollywood moment, but it wasn't with her. Yeah, you know uh, I mean? right. Yeah. This he is like, a Hollywood moment. He goes, for kid, sure. a woman's heart's not a prize to be won like some teddy bear at a county fair. You got to put in time. <laughs> and unfortunately, he goes, I hate this kid. I'd like to choke him out right now in my living room. This guy's like a first sergeant in the army. He goes, but I can't do that because sometimes when girls are young, they like a holes. Mm, they grow sweet. out of it. You just got to wait it out. You seem like a good kid. You wear your heart on your sleeve and. If I could choose somebody, I'd choose you. What? Oh, <laughs> man. Uh, that's nice. Oh, thanks, man. So and then he pathetic. goes, cheers. Yeah, and then, uh, <laughs> cheers. You got the As I'm leaving, he's like, uh, I was like, well, could you give her this for me? And he goes, I just don't. It's not going to be a good idea, man. And he goes, I go, I, I want her to have it. And he's like, all right. I tried mm -hmm. to talk you out of it. And he took the bottle and I left. <laughs> 20 years went by, and I told this story on a podcast, and I hit her up. I hit Dave up, and I go, hey, do you remember what I wrote in that letter? I just couldn't remember. Did she ever acknowledge? I go, do you remember when you were going? Th we were going through that thing? You were dating Nate, and I was going to – I gave you the message in a bottle. It's really embarrassing. But do you remember what was on the note? And she s responded back, what message? What bottle? Oh, my God. It's like the notebook. Yeah. Oh, the dad man. hooked did me a favor, dude, and just threw that thing in the trash. Oh, wow. 20 years wow. later, I was like, Mr. Vice, you're a good dude, man. Oh, Thanks for wow. Wow. <laughs> What a good dude. Don't yeah. you forget about me. Because I, I would have thought that, you know, he would have given her the message of the model. And she would have like, yeah, you know, me and Nate Dogs, you know, laughed about it. Right. Yeah. That whole night. Yeah, in fact, we're still laughing about yeah. it. He spared me that indignity, which I thought was a real And then she went, let me get my husband. Nate, guess who's on the phone? <laughs> Man. <laughs> Nate Dog. <laughs> Rafe's on the phone. Remember Rafe? He's the idiot that wrote me that yeah, message. Yeah, the bottle guy. The bottle guy. Remember? <laughs> That's the night we tried that thing for the first time. I'm like, All right. All that's right. a lot of details. Too much. Too much. <laughs>